Chers amis, chers collègues, dear friends, dear colleagues, je suis vraiment très heureuse et honorée, croyez-moi, de m'adresser à vous toutes et tous aujourd'hui et de vous présenter mes voeux chaleureux pour 2021. Je vous souhaite le meilleur pour l'année à venir, à vous toutes et à vos proches. I am very happy and honored to express my very best wishes to each and every one of you for 2021. I hope that the coming year will be a soothing time for you and your families. Soothing and healing is what we need as 2021 begins. Despite the distances, the lockdowns and the unknown, the EBU community has kept close ties with its members all through the past year as we needed to find common ways, exchange experiences, imagine new programs quickly and efficiently. I dearly hope we shall be able to meet again soon, for real, in 2021, and share lively moments together in Geneva, as well as in all the beautiful cities of the very vast European and Mediterranean territory covered by your actions. Today we all know that in many, many ways we are stronger than a year ago. Your decisions and your actions have made a difference like never seen before. Delivering truthworthy and independent news, no matter what. Securing education for the youngest in new ways and means. Supporting the industries of arts and services, just to name a few. Who wouldn't say that our hands would be needed in such vital ways? Yet here we are, all 115 public media organizations from TV and radio, journalists, technicians, digital experts, lawyers, finance and human resources operatives, engineers, creative teams in music, drama, documentary, animation and entertainment, all committed to a common vision. Recent news have once again shown just how much public opinions are split and sometimes violently divided. Public service media have, as never before in the history of media and mediation, a key role to hold towards its audiences and towards our societies. A mission of delivering truth, allowing a space for freedom of speech, uniting for a peaceful and enlightening exchange of opinions. Above all, EBU is a place for uniting. Beyond turmoils and crises, EBU has been a strong voice for many years and has set high values. Universality, independence, excellence, diversity, accountability and innovation. Members from our 56 countries of the Union have agreed on these fundamental values to unite and work stronger together. I intend to keep this path and lead it toward the challenges ahead of us. The challenge of inclusiveness and diversity in giving a voice and a representation to all generations, gender, social and cultural backgrounds. The challenge of setting the grounds for the future of public media in Europe. In shaping a safe digital space for news and creative content on our continent. The challenge of innovating together to offer new and real services to members. In delivering tools to share the contents we produce with larger audiences within a secure, legal and technological environment. The challenge of carefully listening to all of you in your daily duties and defending the crucial missions that public radio, television and internet media hold in your countries. I know how valuable all of you are to the EBU community. And again, I wish all of you to stay safe and be the happiest in 2021. Je sais combien chacune et chacun d'entre vous contribuez tous et tous les jours à la vision commune portée par l'UER. Et je réitère mes voeux de bonne santé et de bonheur à vous tous pour cette année. À très bientôt. Over to you, Peter. Thank you, Delphine. And hello to you, my dear friends and colleagues. As Delphine suggested precisely, the previous year was challenging and very demanding. But it was also a year when public service media used up the opportunity to prove their importance and indispensability. And I'm sure this year, this year, 
is also going to be very special, both for us and for our viewers and listeners. Let's hope it will be a year of a great relief. Let's hope it will also be an Olympic year, but without any doubt, it will also be a year of the important and significant political changes, not only in Europe. And so we are facing a period of highly intensive work. These upcoming months are going to have a crucial influence on the appearance of public service media in the third decade of this century, on the expectations placed on them and the possibilities provided to them. One of the most important tasks we have is to find a new convincing narrative for the existence of public service media. A narrative which will react to the changes in the society caused by the pandemic and other relating phenomena. And then we have to find an innovative and topical way to present these narratives to the public and also to the political stakeholders who more and more often question the traditional models of public service funding. And you all know very well that without financial stability there cannot be any development. You see, this year gives us a lot of potential. Let's hope we manage to make the best of it. I wish you all a great amount of happiness and luck. And I am very much looking forward to working together. Stay safe, healthy and optimistic.